Hello, and first of all, I'd like to start off by saying just how wonderful I am. I'm so wonderful. <laughs> Not really, but it's Elise's birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. And I made her pancakes. What a sweetheart. For breakfast in bed, I made her pancakes yes. with Kirkland maple syrup. And coffee in bed. And coffee. Okay. So she can be lazy as she wants today. I'm doing the driving, I'm doing the cooking, I'm doing everything. Because I'm so nice. But yeah, they look pretty good. I think I might have some. Obviously, because it's Elise's birthday, we're going out to dinner and stuff. So I figure, why not? Why not? So, I might have some pancakes soon. That's awesome. Today's going to be a massive day. I actually charged you the camera last night. So, taking you along for the ride. There might not be that much because we'll be around our family a lot, but hopefully there will be. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Yay, it's Elisa's birthday. Hello. Hello, puppies. You're all so cute. There you are. Look at you. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello, so adorable. Give them one last pet. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. That's so cute. Oh. Sopranos. We're at the movie store and I had to grab two more because it's a six for ten deal. So we don't have to watch it on the internet. I'm ducking down so the lady can't see me. We're getting into full swing into Elise's birthday. We just went to her grandparents' house and that was awesome. I love them. They're so cool. Yeah, so now we're going to a TAFE with her brother so we can see whether or not he wants to do the rest of his high school there. So that will be fun, hopefully. I've got me a mother. It's low carb. And every sip I take is absolutely sugar freaking rich. It's like, whoa, it gives me the shakes every time I take a sip. Where are we going? A uh, TAFE open day? Yep. For I my said, brother. I said that in um, the video shop, actually. Did you? I sure did vlog there. Right. Um, but yeah, it's in this very, it's a very oriental kind of town in Melbourne. Um, but it's a nice-ish kind of place. It can be a bit dangerous, but not this time of night. Yeah. And then we're going to city, the city kind of for dinner. That should be fun. To the same restaurant we went on our anniversary. The, yeah, the day after our anniversary, that place where I had those cheese balls and they're amazing. It's our new favourite restaurant, so that will be cool. Um, I'm driving, so I'm not going to be looking at the camera. What else have we done today? Went to my grandparents' house. Yeah. And they love Taylor, so it's very cute. Yeah, her, her grandfather said, I love you to me, and I was like, Aww. Which is a pretty big deal if you think about it. Yeah, it's a massive deal. Yeah. Um, and we just stopped off at my parents' house to see my father. Yep. And we went, have you told them what else? We went for coffee. Yeah, that was fun. And ran into my mum and sister. Yep. Anyway, I should go. Yeah. Because the car's, you're driving. the car's struggling to speed up, so I'm going to kick it into gear. Not that it's manual or anything. <laughs> so a little update on the earthquake yesterday. It was actually 5.2 on the Richter scale. And I think that's the biggest one we've had in Victoria and Melbourne quite for decades, I think. Um, and now it's like gale force winds and it's super cold, so it's strange as weather. What's happening to us? I do not know. So we found where we need to be. And uh, we're here. And it's like all about the school and stuff and it's not making me miss school at all. It's pretty cool here though. It's got like heaps of stuff. It's weird. I wouldn't mind coming back to school. Kind of quiet. If they see me video on them, like, what are you doing? That's fine. I just steal their trophies. Um, yeah. So this is interesting. Oh, what I was gonna say is a fact about public toilets. At least, and I just use the toilets here, and it's like public. If you use the first stall in the public toilet when you go in, it's likely to be a lot cleaner because. A lower percentage of people use the first stall in the toilets than what use the last stall in the toilets because people don't like to, you know, for you to hear them peeing. So if you use the first stall, you're going to get less diseases and STDs. And if you use the last stall, you're going to get AIDS or syphilis or chlamydia or something. So guys, use, use the first stall. 
can't stress this enough, use the first stall, okay? And if you're a guy, you don't need to worry. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Talking about public toilets, so interesting. Obviously, we're in a car park. We're on our way to dinner. We're like an hour early, surprisingly for once. Lifts are here. Lifts. And um, I just want to rant about something for a quick second or two. Drivers that drive four-wheel drives in the city. There's no need for it. You block everyone's view of traffic. You're just bulky and big for no apparent reason. Four-wheel drives are for like off-roading, not to drive in cities. You can get a sedan that can carry practically as much. Or a station wagon. So I don't see a need for them. And mostly the drivers of these four wheel drives in the cities are really bad at driving and can't drive a big car properly. And it sucks. Receive a free a free one dollar coffee. Mm, too bad I've already had a Receive a one dollar coffee. coffee. We're going to the place with the best coffee, aren't we? Excited? Yeah, except for I've had too much coffee. I'm excited about the pasta. I'm excited about the food. It's gonna be great. Oh, came up in shops. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that all? Is that all you got? I don't know. No, he's gonna do something. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Elise. Sing you something that I wrote called Teddy Bear Love. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. No, leave the girls alone, alright? I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, we have two. It's okay. He's a good man. I love that one, a la bomba. I'll give you one of these for your birthday. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. Baby, baby. Yeah, I keep it in the car, so you can come back. You ask me, and I'll go with you. And I'll. Oh, wow. Yeah, can I do that? 
Elvis has joined us. <laughs> I'm going to sing an original that I wrote. It's called Teddy Bear Love. Okay. Well, look at me, Elise. experience I've ever had as you can tell by that guy that was singing like and the owner of the restaurant was talking to us and he sat, sat down with us he was like this Italian guy he moved over here when he was 15 <coughs> and um what level are we on me and he still had his accent and it was amazing and he sat there and literally, literally talked to us for like half an hour the food best if you ever come to Melbourne go to Cosentino's on Ligon Street um, the food, I had the best fillet mignon I've ever had. And what did you have? Three pastas? Three three different pastas. But and they're like made there. And, and the cake, what was the cake? Oh, it was like a cheesecake and mousse and all this mm. crazy stuff. It's just all they have authentic, presented amazingly. And they're yeah. massive portions. Yeah, massive portions. Like I ate some of my, I ate all of the fillet mignon. Then I ate some of my vegetables, vegetables a bit of potato. And I was so full. If my voice is echoing, it's because we're in the car. There was like half of the plate of food left. Yeah, and like it's a little bit more pricey. Like it's maybe a bit around 25 to 30 for a main meal. 35, sorry. But the portion size and the experience and the way they talk to you is like and worth how quality the food. Is. Yeah, quality, quantity, and just like happiness has given us all these life lessons and stuff. It was the best experience ever. Oh my god, if you ever come to Melbourne, Cosentino's, like on the street, seriously, I will not stop raving about this for days. So I just sent, spent almost two hours on the phone to our internet company because I'm totally sick of the internet dropping out whenever the phone rings or is answered or is hung up. And it was a journey. This internet company, they're like the biggest telecommunication company in Australia. And they own everything and they just lease it out to all the other companies and they have a stranglehold on <sighs> on the business and they're so annoying and they're trying to tell me all this crap and that they're going to fix it and, oh, 
I just want the internet to be fixed like right now and I can't upload yesterday's vlog at all because the internet screwed so yesterday's vlog will be up late hopefully today's isn't um it really sucks anyway it was a great day today Elise's birthday was fantastic this vlog is really long it sounds like I say vlog v vlog I can't say v properly so it was really long um I hope you guys are doing well I'm really tired I'm going to bed I have my driving lesson tomorrow morning um I'll see you guys soon. Bye.